In order to keep your system running at peak performance, it's important to understand the key parts and components of your in-ground irrigation system. In addition to what you see above ground, automated in-ground sprinkler systems are built on a framework of underground PVC pipes and fittings. They're designed to safely deliver water from the city's main water line to different zones in your yard. Wiring runs along these pipes to transmit signals from the irrigation controller to the valves in each zone. When your controller sends a signal, these valves open and water flows through the pipes to your irrigation head or drip tubing so that it can precisely deliver water to your plants. Water meter, a device that measures the volume of water delivered to a property. Some water meters measure water in gallons while others measure in cubic feet. Most residential water meters are located near the curb or sidewalk at the front of a property in a concrete, metal, or plastic box. Backflow Preventer The mechanical device that protects the potable water supply from potential contamination from irrigation water. Consult local building codes for specific regulations in your area. Isolation Valve when closed, the isolation valve isolates the irrigation system from the main water supply. When open, water from the main supply enters the irrigation system. The isolation valve can be closed so repairs can be made or for winterization. PVC Pipe The white, semi-rigid plastic piping commonly used in irrigation systems. Main Line this pipe supplies water from the point of connection to the control valves and is under constant pressure whether the irrigation system is running or not. The valve box and valve cover. This plastic box contains the sprinkler valve, usually with a green or black lid. They can be round or rectangular in shape. Valve. A valve is like a faucet, allowing water to pass through it in response to the commands from the controller. As a valve receives an electronic signal to open, water flows to your sprinklers. When this signal stops, the valve closes and the flow of water stops. Solenoid. The electromagnet component connected by wire to a controller which causes the opening and closing of the automatic control valve. Pressure regulator. A pressure regulator is a tool to maintain a constant downstream operating pressure. Sprinkler systems need 30 to 50 PSI to run under normal conditions. Drip irrigation components work best between 15 to 25 PSI. Depending on your utility, your water pressure may significantly exceed those amounts, leading to inefficient application or problems in your system. Lateral line. The name of the pipe installed downstream from each control valve where the sprinklers are attached. When the valve is open, the lateral line fills with water and raises the sprinkler riser. Rotor. Rotor sprinklers are an alternative to spray heads that rotate side to side and deliver water in one large single stream at slower rates than spray heads. They have a higher operating water pressure between 45 and 50 PSI and have a precipitation rate usually between one half to one inch per hour. Rotor sprinklers are a great choice for medium to very large areas of turf and are ideal for slow draining or sloped landscape areas. Spray Head A fixed spray sprinkler component that pops up from the ground and applies water in a set pattern, usually from 5 to 25 feet in range. They are used primarily for lawns and in some landscape areas. With application rates that are typically higher than other irrigation technologies, the biggest problem with fixed spray heads is that they often put out water faster than clay soil can absorb, which contributes to increased runoff and higher water bills. When improperly designed and maintained, spray heads can put out a mist of water that easily evaporates or is blown off during windy conditions. Nozzle. The component of a sprinkler head that sprays water. A nozzle's design as well as its size, shape, and placement controls the distance, watering pattern, and distribution efficiency of the sprinkler. Typically, they are sold separately from the sprinkler head and come in a variety of spray patterns and distances. Riser. The name for the section of pipe connected above a lateral line to support a sprinkler or nozzle. Whether segmented for custom adjustments, flexible or rigid, risers will have male pipe threads on each end 
to allow for removal or repair. Nozzle Stem A component of the sprinkler head that the nozzle attaches to. It pops up during operation when the sprinkler zone is running. Multi-stream rotors Also known as rotary nozzles, these pop-up head nozzles use multiple water streams to apply larger droplets of water slowly and evenly for greater efficiency and increased water savings. They are perfect for landscapes with slopes or clay soils, and many have an adjustable pattern from 45 to 365 degrees in addition to radius adjustment. Drip tubing. The part of a micro-irrigation system that allows water to slowly drip to a plant's root zone where it can easily and efficiently be used. Drip tubing minimizes water losses through evaporation, which are common when using other overhead spray technologies. A properly designed and installed drip irrigation system can be up to 90% efficient, making it the best technology for landscape beds and hard to irrigate areas. Drip emitter. The parts of a drip irrigation system that produce the water droplets. Emitters can be standalone pieces that are attached to the tubing, point source, or they can be included in the tubing during manufacturing with inline drip. Drip emitters deliver water at very low rates and they operate under reduced pressure when compared to other irrigation technologies. Irrigation controller. The controller works like an alarm clock, automatically opening and closing valves according to a preset time schedule. Most controllers are very easy to operate after familiarizing yourself with the operating manual. If you've misplaced your operating manual, an online version can be found by searching your specific model number. Most new controllers allow for seasonal adjustments and cycle and soak settings, as well as the addition of sensors that shut off your system when it rains or freezes. If your controller does not have one of these functions, consider replacing with a newer version to help efficiently manage water, which will likely help reduce your water bill. Rain and Freeze Sensor these tools aid the homeowner by preventing the irrigation system from running during a rain event or when temperatures are near or below freezing. Freeze sensors can also aid in preventing damage to irrigation systems and help avoid icy safety hazards. It's also important to note that rain and freeze sensors are required in most areas and applications. With the basic understanding of these components and a little proper maintenance, you can keep your lawn and landscape looking its best while keeping your water bill in check.